Hi, we're here with Joe Koch, who's a fossil expert. He's written three books on fossils, as well as he comes to us 33 years retired from the Los Angeles County Natural History Museum. But Joe has made an amazing discovery recently. Tell me what you found right here at this spot. Well, about four years ago, I was hiking down this canyon and I saw a bone sticking out of the cliff here. And I dug it out and I took it home and identified it as a, uh, an extinct bison, bison antiquus. And, uh, and how old is the bison antiquus? They Give us out about ten thousand years ago. They're extinct about ten thousand years ago. And as I was cleaning the the bones, I noticed some cut marks on it. And so Long Beach State confirmed they were uh, made by Paleo Indians. These cut marks, which means that h humans actually cut this butchered. animal in some kind, butchered this animal. Yeah, butchered this animal right here. Uh, uh, Thirteen thousand five hundred years ago was the date we have on it, and it's a confirmed date. Uh, so that's one of the oldest states in California if not the oldest, and one of the oldest dates in the United States of humans. This is the oldest sign of human interaction with, with animals? Right, there? in California. Uh -huh. And they weren't able to carbon-14 data, which is a common way to right. kind of identify the age of something, but they, they identified it by the surrounding stones, uh, if I recall. Actually, they dated the uh, feldspar crystals associated with it. It's real complicated. It's called uh, um, OSL dating. Um, and what they do is they actually can date the last time these feldspar crystals saw sunlight. And it's a very complicated method. It's actually more accurate than carbon-14 dating. And they've done, uh, they did 13 tests on this area, and they all came up around 13,500 years old. So let's talk about you finding this fossil, because uh, I, I like to hike around. I mean, I'll go down Del Cerro, and we're here in um, uh, Rolling Hills Estates right now. Um, but uh, hiking around this area, what would we look for to find that next fossil? What is it that, that stuck out for you that you're like, I've got to look at, closer at this. What is this? Well, you see, even in the rocks or in the cliffs, you know, you see all these rocks and it's something that's something, a little different color or a little different texture. So you just got more to look for that. Even in, in the Palos Verde stone we have all over here, yeah, most of it's just rock. But all of a sudden you see a, a kind of a spongy texture and it could be a fossil bone or something. So just you look for something that stands out a little bit different. And I know from your recent book, in, in Fossils of the Palos Verdes Hills, I know flipping through it that it's it's kind of a nice user guide to take on the road if you are going for a hike and you see something that looks maybe like a snail but you're not quite sure. Mm -hmm. We could refer to your book and that's going to tell us about Absolutely. what that's. Yeah, I've tried to have everything you'd find in Palos Verdes. I, I have a photograph of it in the book. Um, where, where could we find that book? It's for sale at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center or you can go Amazon Books on the internet and get it.